and thank you for watching. In this video, I'm going to unbox and review Barbie Extra number three. Now, this doll, I saw her in the store and look like she had so many really cool accessories that I really needed to take a closer look. So guess what we're gonna do today? We're gonna take a closer look. So here's the box for Barbie Extra number three. And you can see she's got the big fuzzy coat inside. Look like she's got a pet pig. And you can see the really pretty artwork here. And let's turn this box over to the other side so that we can see, oh, more of the pretty artwork there. Very nice. And here we go here. So right here we have a full illustration of our doll. And it says, what does it say down here? 15 styling pieces. And so that's what we see surrounding her here. We see a couple of pieces. I see necklace, I see the shades. Look like this might be some sort of purse or something. Uh, some sort of necklaces, those boots, a pet pig. Oh, it looks like you've got a picture of her friends that come in the line as well, at least two of the other dolls that come in the line. So let's see if we can get her open. I see this perforation around here, so I'm gonna to try to use that to do it, or am I just gonna just throw caution to the wind? Nope, let's try to follow the rules. Okay, fine. I'm still gonna probably tear into this box, so. Okay, I'm trying to follow the rule, and I am not, you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna go old school on this box. So we're just gonna rip this open back here. And as you see, we've got lots and lots of latches and stuff here. So I'm gonna just start folding these and tucking them in if I can. And so they rip the tape off without messing up the doll inside. I'd like to, I don't like to try to just rip the doll from the liner. So you might break something that you didn't mean to break. So, I'm still pulling these tabs here. And she is really secure in this box. Mattel said, no ma'am, you are not stealing this doll, kids. And let's see, oh, there's more here. There is a lot. All right, more down here. Whew. All right, let's see if that will work in order to get this doll free from this box. Or was that all for naught? I could have been doing it all for naught, all the extras. I think I may have been, we'll see. I am going to use my scissors down here because I am getting frustrated. I want this doll out. Oh, Barbie. Come out of here. My goodness. This is just a spectacle. <laughs> this is a mess. Uh, all right. I think I might need a little YouTube magic in order to... Uh, there we go. You know what? We're going to use some YouTube magic to help me because obviously I am cursed. Thank you, YouTube magic. So let's take a closer look at this doll. So as you can see, this is the closed mouth Millie Sculpt. And she's got two tones of hair in her hair. It's this pink and also blonde they are tied up into these little space buns and she's got these really I don't know plastic white barrettes uh, with the little bumps on them which are actually kind of cute they're studded and let's see what's doing Ooh, ee. ooh, ah ooh. so ooh, a little ooh, a little nappy back here all right, so let's see from this side here. And she's got another barrette. And let's see, she's got these hoop earrings. They're like the shiny silver metal. 
very cheap, but I like the fact that they are shiny, so it helps with the outfit. They go with one of the necklaces here, the one that says Barbie. She also has these two additional necklaces that are like kind of that cheap doll plastic. I'm not crazy about it. I wish they had just gone with just the shiny and just remove these. Save your coins if you're not going to do it right. But anyway, let's scroll back and let's see. This is the outfit complete here. And oh, one of the things I wanted to show you is her ring, which I think is so cool. Nobody told me about this ring. It is a blue gummy bear ring. Look at that. Why didn't anyone tell me about this ring? I would have gotten this doll just for this ring alone. My goodness, that is just so adorable. Enough of me going on and on about her fabulous ring. Let's take a look at her jacket. And I'd actually like to remove it so that we can see what's doing underneath this outfit. So I'm going to remove it. Unfortunately, her hands are not removable like Integrity Dolls or even Monster High. So it's a little frustrating, but eh, I guess this is one of the things that we deal with. So let's remove this coat and I'm hoping it, that it won't sna get snagged on the ring. I'm gonna have to probably, yeah, remove the ring, even though it's got the plastic stuff on it in order to remove the jacket. So as we can see, it looks like some sort of either swimsuit or top. I'm super curious, I wanna know. Also, as you can see, it's got this ruffle detail on the pants but i want to know what's doing with this top is it a bathing suit or what so let's turn her head around and just to see how things are connected and made and as you can see it's velcro in the back for aha the pants and for what looks like a bathing suit now Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mattel, for doing this. I think it's super smart. I love when they do the bathing suits as part of the top because what happens is it helps with keeping the blouses or the bathing suit as a blouse tucked in to the skirt or pants. So that is very cool, and I appreciate that Mattel did that for Barbie. So... Oh, one of the things I also wanted to show you was look at these fabulous shoes. If you weren't convinced about buying this doll, don't tell me that these shoes don't tempt you even more. Look at these boots. They are incredible. They come on and off really easily. As you can see, it's got the little split in the back and can just go on really easily. Who can resist these boots. So I certainly love to give kudos where kudos are due. And I wanted to show you this coat. I thought was actually very cool. Look inside. Lining. There is actually lining. Mattel does not always do lining on their clothing. So it's actually nice to see that. It's not fully with the sleeves, but that's fine. I can't believe that there's some lining here. So I thought that was very cool. Another thing that this doll comes with is her pet pig on a little cloud. So it's got this little cloud piece here. So I'm going to put that down. It's a little base. And she also comes with this little pig that has this removable unicorn horn and also removable wings. Get it when pigs fly? Aha, uh aha, -huh, uh -huh, get it? So very cute. <laughs> Additionally, this doll comes with this thing called Sweet. I think it is a purse. It's got a little zipper thing back here, so I'm assuming it's like a carry-on purse or hand purse or something. But I don't know how this doll is actually going to hold this. So, eh, I mean, cute and bright. It would go nicely with the outfit, but... She can't really hold it or anything. I guess I could try to use a little plastic thing, but eh, it seems kind of like a throwaway to me. 
Another accessory that this doll comes with, which is very cool, are these shades here. As you can see, they're black with little white painted pearl accents on them and the little arms here. But this is not integrity. This is Mattel, so these do not bend, which is fine. In the end, I really want these to just sit on the doll, but it's just one of the details that I wanted to show you. Another thing that I wanted to point out is that she does not come on a made-to-move body. She is on an articulated body, but it looks like it is the Playline articulated body. So I'm glad that there's articulation. I would have preferred made-to-move, but we got articulation, and collectors have been asking for that for years. So thank you for that. So what I would like to do next is I would like to put all of the accessories on this doll and do a 360 view of her. I'd also like to introduce her to our panel to see what they have to say about her. All right, I would like to welcome our panel. First we have CEO of W Cosmetics, Veronique Karen. Next we have Barbie's best gal pal, Diva Sculpt Midge. And last but certainly not least, actress, model, singer, Alyssa Rodriguez. Now, before I speak to the panel, I'd like to do a 360 of Barbie Extra number three. So I wanted you to be able to see the outfit from all angles. You can see her hair is just a little bit messy in the back, so I'll need to straighten that out. You may need to straighten yours out too. So let's go in closer and we can see what she looks like with the shades on. And of course, her purse under her arm. You can see the detail in the pants. And of course, my favorite part, those boots. Well, maybe not from behind, but from the side and from the front, those boots are really awesome. Also, of course, that gummy bear ring. How cool is that? She also has her little pet pig here on the little cloud. So, Veronique, what are your thoughts on Barbie Extra number three? Uh, you have a note. And your thoughts on her? Meh. Well, I'm sure that's your honest opinion. I just think it could be a little bit more, I don't know, constructive or I don't know, Pharaoh. Mitch, what are your thoughts? Mitch, are you proposing or declaring your love? What's going on here, Mitch? Uh, uh, we're going to move on. Oh, and Alyssa, you have a note for me. Let's see. I need that ring. Well, yeah, Alyssa, yeah, you're going to get it anyway, so I'm just going to save you the time and the effort and the drama here. You take it. Enjoy. Okay, Alyssa, you really don't have to show off. Thank you, panel. So I think that Barbie Extra number three is extra fun. She comes with so many outfit pieces that are really cool. I love the jacket. I love little bathing suit. The pants are super cute. And of course, look at those boots. They are super cute. Also that gummy bear ring, those fun shades that she's wearing, even the little barrettes. Now I will say, although I, although I do appreciate that she has this really fun hairdo, the execution back here is just awful. I, I'm gonna see if I can maybe fix it. I don't know if I can. Um, but I will say this, the outfit, the doll itself, the articulated body are absolutely wonderful. Um, this hair though, I, <laughs> but other than that, <laughs> I really like this doll. So I would say that definitely the body will stay, the outfit will stay. I don't know about the head. If I can't fix that, then the head will be on a doll sales table uh, in the near future. So 
Anyway, that being said, I hope that you liked this video. And if you did, then please make sure that you click the like button so that I know that you like it. Also, make sure that you subscribe to this channel so that you get notified of when I come up with new videos like this one. So anyway, thanks again for watching and I hope you have a great day.